back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video. If you're new here, hey boo, my name is Bria. Um, I welcome you with open arms. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this video. Before anything, I just need you to like, comment, and make sure you subscribe down below. It helps me out a ton. You don't even know. I am so thankful for those who have been loyal, those who have been showing love, and those who are subscribed. I love you guys, and I thank you so much for just helping my channel grow. I've been watching it grow, and it's been like such a blessing. So I just want to thank you guys. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you do that to join the family. And yeah. So today's video is not going to be as fun as my other videos. This is going to be a little bit more personal. Transparency is extremely important to me. It's one of my bigger values. And I believe, especially when you have a platform, even if it's small, being transparent is extremely extremely important especially when you want to connect with people who are watching you people who ultimately look up to you and want to relate to you it's hard to relate to anybody if you aren't being vulnerable if you aren't being transparent now i know being vulnerable and transparent isn't always easy but it's important to push yourself outside the box and kind of push your own limits being vulnerable and transparent with people it can also be a learning lesson for yourself. You can learn more and you can open up more and it's like therapeutic. So that's what we're doing today. I am going to be completely transparent and share with you guys one of my biggest insecurities. Um, no one's perfect. We all have insecurities. So I feel like this is important to share with you guys because I don't know who might see this video that might be going through the same thing or something similar and can either give me tips or learn from me or we can get through this together. <laughs> now I understand people are going through crazier things but this is just my story, this is my truth. This is something I've been dealing with for like years now and I'm ready to face it. This skin condition is called Tinea Versicolor. If you've never heard of it, it's kind of foreign. I never heard of it. Even when my skin was making a transition, even when like things were changing, I just thought, you know, I didn't really think anything. I just ignored it, which is probably not the best thing and it probably wouldn't have taken years for me to finally face it head on. What refrained me from sharing it is because when you look it up, it's a fungal infection. And just hearing that alone is like embarrassing. It's not something you really want to talk about, right? It's not like, you know, I'm dealing with this. It's a fungal infection all over me. Like, that's just... Mm -mm. So it is, like I said, a fungal infection and it occurs mostly in adolescents and young adults and it is due to an overgrowth of yeast on the skin. Now anybody can get this. Um, it's not contagious whatsoever and it's it's just annoying <laughs> I will say that so my kind of background with it I kind of don't want to get into the science of it I might leave like links down below of like you know some articles I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys about my story dealing with it and how I plan on you know getting rid of it so when I was in college I developed this big like dark mark in between my boobs and it was kind of cool because it was shaped like an elephant which is really crazy because something like that developing on your skin when you never really had a skin issue ever and you just ignore it is like outlandish but I literally ignored it I just thought it was like my body changing I didn't know maybe it was a change in diet maybe it was changing environment I didn't know I just ignored it. I thought it was pretty cool because it was shaped like an elephant and I just went on about my life. Now over time this elephant, this elephant would get like dry but it wasn't itchy, it didn't irritate me, it just would like be dry you know if I got out the shower, if I didn't lotion up, even if I did lotion up sometimes it would still get really really dry but I still ignored it. <laughs> so I want to say one and a half to two years ago, maybe even three years ago, it was the summertime and I just remember, I, I'm not one to really examine my body, but every now and then I will take a peek just trying to see, you know, if there's any irregular things, something going on. And one day I believe I was getting out of the shower and I looked in the mirror and I looked at the back of me and I realized there were like spots everywhere and it was really weird <laughs> because they were like little like perfect circles but they were everywhere all over my back and that like raised an alarm but still didn't give me enough of a scare that i took control i just was like whoa this is weird 
and I attribute it to, you know, this because it kind of looked the same, but it was on my back. Whatever. I think the reason I really didn't take it serious or take precautions or get someone to look at it immediately was because it wasn't itching. You couldn't feel it. Like, if I feel my back, I can't feel anything. It feels like straight back. So I didn't think it was something serious. It's not something serious. I'm making it seem like it's like literally like life or death. It's not. So eventually, it went from the back, from my back to my front. And that's when I kind of started doing a little bit of research. And I thought it was like sun... Something to do with the sun. <laughs> there were like different pictures that looked the same as me and attributed to hot weather and the sun. So I, I thought it was just like something, how my body was reacting to the sun that particular summer. Fast forward the next year, my immune system was not the best. I was not eating the best. I wasn't really taking care of my body and my tinea spiraled out of control. I mean, everywhere. It was disgusting. I was so embarrassed and like ashamed to show my skin even if I even if I wanted to like really really bad I would try to really oily it up sometimes if I was going out I would even put makeup over top of it it was just bad and it just like it sucked it, it was just so ugly to me for some reason even when I was taking pictures it was like no way to hide it especially if I took a picture with a filter it like enhanced it oh it was so terrible and I was just so ashamed of it which you could you shouldn't be ashamed of it and also I had no right to be ashamed of it when I wasn't taking care of it you know I wasn't doing anything to prevent it it wasn't like I was doing everything in my power to get rid of it I couldn't really be mad I'll be sure to share some pictures with you guys because I have tons of pictures some pictures I didn't even realize it was as bad as it was until I looked back and sat down and was like okay we have an issue recently <laughs> This has been so annoying to me. I'm trying to like record videos of like try on hauls, I wanna do makeup tutorials, and I'm looking at my skin in the camera and it's literally making me cringe. When I use natural lighting like by my window and I look, it enhances it and it is like, it just, I, I hate it. So I decided <laughs> I'm gonna take control of this. I'm not gonna let this like ruin my self confidence. I don't want to like, if I can control it, I'm going to. It's not something that's completely out of my control, so why not take control? <laughs> so I did some research. I had some things in my cart. I took some things out. I did some more research. And I wanted to start with the most simple things. I don't want to go with like super medicated items. I wanted to start with the most simple things. And a lot of people recommended Selsun Blue. If you don't know what Selsun Blue is, it is a medicated shampoo, but it also is used for like skin conditions. For example, like ringworm and stuff like that, which is like another fungal infection, whatever. And a lot of people told their story and they had like the same story as me and they said how Selsun Blue really help them and really cut it down or completely took it away. My Selsun Blue came in the mail, I want to say yesterday or the day before, and last night I decided to use it in the shower for the first time. And if you can see, I wore this like strapless. If you can see, it's still kind of like there. But it's fading and my skin is slowly becoming one and that's what I want. I can try to show you guys my back. <laughs> so I am super excited. I can say my first time using the Sauce and Blue I've seen a obvious difference and I'm really excited to take this on and completely clear up my skin so I have my old confidence back and I'm not self-aware of what I'm wearing and I'm not super conscious when I'm taking pictures and I just want this gone. <laughs> so I wanted to bring you guys for my journey. Um, currently I am taking multivitamin pills which is helping a lot with like boosting my immune system and um, you know fighting the fungus so to say. Selfs in Blue, which is the medicated wash, and then I ordered Gold Bond Lotion, the medicated one. These three things I hope can completely fight this, take it away, I want it gone. <laughs> one thing I will say, if you do have this condition or any other skin condition and are considering 
using self and blue it does not smell good like I like to step out of the shower smelling like roses and that was just not the case with this self and blue it has like a super medicine-y <laughs> medicated smell and it leaves a smell after your shower so like just be aware and be cautious when you use it and when you get out of the shower wash it but it works <laughs> I can say that myself it works so far so yeah I'll be back with updates I may do like a one week update and we'll just go from there and I hope this just takes it all away and just it's just one burden off the list but I just wanted to come and share with you guys my newest journey and if you are battling something like this or have heard something like this and know some remedies please leave a comment down below I just want to say if you are battling something internal or something that is in your control take hold of it take complete control of it do some research love on yourself show yourself some love I was not showing myself love and had the audacity to hate what was going on with my skin and I was just letting it do what I wanted to do take control of yourself take control of your body treat yourself love on yourself take care of yourself and that is the end of this video if you liked it don't forget to give me a big thumbs up comment down below subscribe even if it's just some encouraging words i greatly appreciate it yeah so i will see you guys in my next video